Hey guys, I was just setting up for the episode when I heard a zebra over here, and since we made nets last episode, I had to go over here and try to catch it. Okay, so apparently right click doesn't work. It says attack. I don't want to attack it. I don't want to injure it. I guess I have to try. Okay, so that's how it's done. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I guess you do kind of have to swing it to catch them, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like an attack move. It seems more like a use item. Anyway, we have a zebra now. I don't see another one in the area, but I'll keep an eye out. I still have to make that book to find out whether it's male or female anyway. But you guys, this is episode 2 of My Dream Zoo in Minecraft. And so I'm so excited for this episode. As you can see, we're already getting started. And so I do want to catch another zebra and maybe another animal at some point. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But I also want to build that spider farm since we found the spider spawner last episode. I've never built one, but I looked up a tutorial and it seems pretty simple. So I'm going to see if I can gather all the materials and get that built up soon. Alright guys, I got started on the farm. And right now I'm almost done digging out four blocks from the spawner in each direction. Unfortunately, this farm doesn't um, damage the spiders at all. It just kind of drops them down into a killing chamber. But I think for this it's fine because I really need the string for it and I'll still get the XP. So that's good. And I'll put the link to this um, tutorial that I'm watching in the description for you guys. Um, that is if it does work. If it doesn't work, I'll have to figure out something else. But this was really the only um, tutorial I found that was for 1.12.0 two or whatever which is the version that we're in now for this mod pack here anyway i'm gonna get some more of this done and i'll cut back um once it's almost done so now i've dug down three more levels and i'm putting in some signs so that the spiders won't be able to climb the walls um, once everything's in here and that's mostly just a precaution according to the video but i decided you know what i'll put them in just in case um, but I am a little bit worried about this farm because we're pretty close to bedrock at this point. I think we're at like Y10 like 10 or something. So I'm hoping that we can make it work okay because we still have to go down a couple more layers. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update and um, I'll be back soon once we're a little bit further along. Alright, so I'm digging out the funnel here for the spiders to fall into. And of course it looks like there's some lava down here, so... Looks like I'm going to have some trouble finishing this. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, if we're not surrounded by lava, we can probably get around it and figure it out okay. But this might be a big lava pit under here, which would be a big hassle. Luckily, I can at least stay safe because I have a water bucket, so I can just leave that on the ground and make sure the lava doesn't get me. But the problem is, is sometimes it's hard to place blocks if there's no blocks to put them on if there's just lava back there, you know? So, that's what we're dealing with, we're trying to figure it out. Oh hey, there's diamonds down here. Okay, so that's really good. The only problem is, is that I'm trying not to dig out diamonds. I wanted to wait until I had fortune 3. But these are kind of in the way, and I really want to get this spider farm done today. So, I think I'm going to have to dig them up. But I found diamonds, so I really can't complain at all. This does seem like it's going to be quite the struggle though, so I'm going to try to take care of these diamonds, take care of um, the obsidian and lava around here, and I'll come back in a little bit, you guys. Hopefully I can get this taken care of. I ended up needing to come back up for some supplies, and I heard a zebra out here, so I grabbed my net and I'm going to go pick them up right now real quick. I just wanted to make sure you guys know what's going on here. And I actually think I'm going to go explore a little bit around the area off this way. Because um, I haven't really been over here and I've been underground for a while. So since it's daytime, I just figure I'll go see what I can find over there. But I'll be back soon and we're going to finish that spider farm very soon. Alright, as you guys can see in the back there, um, I found the first village of this series. So I'm really excited. I'm going to go check it out real fast. Um... But I'm not going to stay near the village too long because I don't want, you know, hostile animals to, to spawn and kill the villagers. Because I do want to end up trading with them someday, probably. But, you know, maybe they have some good loot I can take, so we'll see. 
I heard you sheep. That's one of the main reasons I came out here. I want some wool so I can make a bed. I'm so sick of having to wait through the night if it happens to be dark out when I come up from the mine or something. By the way, that village had a little bit of bread and some iron and gold, but otherwise, nothing too crazy. But still glad I got to find the wool and everything, and now we can head back and try to get some stuff done. This farm is so close to being done, I'm so happy. This whole right side of the room was just like lava everywhere, so it was kind of a hassle, but I made it work, was able to push back the lava and put blocks down, so we're all good there. I have all the space I need for the farm now, so I just need to finish putting up the blocks so that the spiders can't hit me, and then I need to turn it on and then we'll try it out. This is the last bit of water that I need to put down here. And then I just need to close everything up, and then I need to go put in the last bit of water on top, get rid of the torches, and we're ready to try this thing out, see if the spiders spawn and get sent down here. Okay, this is what I'm really nervous about. Gotta get rid of all these torches and try to get out real fast. So I think I'm gonna leave some of these blocks here, and then... Once I'm through this doorway, then I can break them once the spiders can't get me. That seems to be the smartest thing, right? Well, that's what I'm going to try anyway, and so <laughs> we'll see how that goes, so. Oh man, I can't believe I forgot the torches on the spawner. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh jeez, okay. Come on, get out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're safe. Alright, that wasn't a total disaster, but obviously could have been done better. At least I know for next time. Look, it's working! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I mean, it's such a simple design. I'm not sure how it could have got messed up, but... You know, I thought maybe I could mess it up somehow. But this is so great. We're going to be able to make so many nets and catch every animal that I want. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm so happy. Alright, now that I have more nets, I decided I want to go on a bit of an adventure now. But first, I wanted to catch a couple of these sheep. Just two, because that's all I need. Um, and then bring them home so we can have our own little sheep population. I am going to keep going out and see what's around here for a little bit though, so I'll come back as soon as I find anything that's exciting. I haven't even made it that far, you guys, and I've already found this desert temple, so that's super exciting. Hopefully there's some goodies in here, so let's go find out. Oh jeez, a creeper. I don't know about you guys, but every time I come into one of these temples, if there's a mob in here, it's always a creeper. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but that's what always happens to me, it seems like. Oh jeez, and I couldn't back up far enough. Well, at least the blocks can't trigger the TNT, that would be pretty horrible. Anyway, let's try to dig down now and see what we get. Well, nothing too exciting here. I mean, bones are nice, of course. And rotten flesh is good to feed some of the animals. Um, hopefully the other ones have some cooler stuff. Also, my inventory is already pretty full, so that kind of sucks. Alright, let's see if we can condense anything here. Pickaxes, at least. Okay, always can use some string, even though we got the farm, but easy string, I'll take it. And horse armor, of course, one of my favorites. Okay, so now we're getting to some tough decisions to make. I wanted to keep the rotten flesh, but obviously I feel like that's not super important. 
I'd really like to take the gunpowder, because that's harder to get, because obviously I'm not super great at fighting creepers, as you guys have seen. Oh my gosh, and this one has a diamond? Like, there's no way you can just leave a diamond, that's insane. Okay, I didn't really want to combine these pickaxes, because it seems like a little bit of a waste, but to get this gunpowder, I think that would probably be worth it, so I'm just going to do it. Okay, so we've got all we can, so I'm going to head up and head home, really, because I can't really get anything else. Okay guys, so I dumped everything off and then I did a bunch of farming off camera, just like built up the wheat and the carrots and everything, um, and the sugar cane, which actually is why I'm going out on an adventure again, because we don't have any cows and I need leather so I can make books, so we can make enchanting, and so I can make the animal book. So I'm going out and trying to find some cows now. Oh my gosh, not to get distracted, but it's a tiger. Oh my gosh. I almost feel like I have to grab it. I'm kind of scared because I don't know how big its reach is. Like, I feel like it can hurt me from far away. Oh, maybe if I sneak up from behind? Oh, it keeps turning towards me. Oh my gosh, I want to bring you home. Okay, easy. Alright, got it. Okay. Now we're gonna go look for cows, but I'm so happy with my new tiger. This is crazy, you guys. I thought I found another village, and I did. But then I got closer and saw that it has a desert temple right inside it. Like, they're literally on top of each other. And it looks like this place is crawling with lions. I wish the villagers were a little bit smarter about running away from them, because I don't think I can save them. But I just had to show you this, you guys, because it's super cool. But I'm going to go head down and see what's in the temple now. Alright, so I actually found one of these book rooms, so I have to go steal all of their bookcases first. Then I'm going to go into the temple. Oh my gosh. Alright, I don't know how this guy got in here. Oh look! Another creeper in the desert temple. What do you know? But at least I'm able to kill this one, thankfully. Of course, my inventory is almost full again. I see why Vintage Beef wanted the backpack mod for his version. I just I don't know, I don't know if I like that mod. Maybe there's another one that I could try. But at least I got some emeralds. Okay, and some more emeralds, some good stuff here. Alright, so I'm trying to combine everything, take whatever I can. Um, guess this is about it though, so I'm gonna have to head back home once again. Okay guys, so we are back home now. Um, so I realized on the way home that I picked up some books. And so that means, um, I believe I already made a kibble as well. Here it is. So that means I can make this animal book. Yeah, animal data book. Okay, so that is awesome. So I can figure out what kibbles the animals need, what they need to eat. Um, what I can do to give them enrichment. Um, so that's awesome. So we can get started on that real soon. Um, and I checked um, for name tag. It just takes gold, paper, and string with a mod that I installed. Um, because I don't want them to despawn. So just in case I want to name them. And so we already have paper and we have the string farm. And I found some gold. Oh, I found actually a lot of gold. I didn't think I had that much. So yeah, so that means... Um, 
We can make that happen. Um, I don't know what kind of kibble the animals need, so that's what I'm worried about. I don't want to let them out of the nets. Um, here's what we have so far. We have the two zebras. I need to make a um, place for the sheep to stay first uh, before I can let them out. And then obviously our Bengal tiger. Um, and a couple of books. Looting too is good, so once I make a diamond sword, I'll probably put that on. Or I could put it on one of these. Um, but we'll see about that. Um, but real quick, so we're going to end the episode real soon. And I do want to, um, as you see, I put a ladder to extend. I want to add some stuff to this house because running out of space. And it's pre getting pretty unorganized. Um, but I want to show you my farm real quick if it's still daytime. So yeah, I did find a couple of different saplings. We got birch, um, acacia, and um, I don't remember what this is. I think it's like ebony or something. Um... And yeah, so then this is our little farm here. So we've got berries in the front, sugarcane over here. Oops. Then um, right in front, we've got the beetroots. Um, they only have a small place because I don't really need too many of them probably, but I like to have everything. So they only get this front bit here. Um, then we have wheat. I'm still working on like, filling all of it in. Um, and over here, carrots. Still working on them, of course, too. But yeah, it's coming along. And this way we'll be able to make all the kibbles and feed all the animals, so... Yeah, so I need to decide. I'm going to do the zebra exhibit first. Um, I want to have, like, some sort of grand entrance. I'm thinking, actually, maybe having a couple entrances. Like, maybe I could make a marina. Well, see, I wanted to have animals out there. Maybe, so I'm not sure. Maybe, like, that island could be, like, an entry. Or with, like, a bridge coming across there. That might work. Um, but anyway, I'll have to figure that out. Um, this I want to make, like, a grand, like zookeeper live in quarters eventually but yeah the zebras will maybe go over probably just down there i don't know maybe over here i want to catch more obviously and i want to breed them but yeah so that's where we are right now and so that's going to do it for this episode and i will see you next time thanks for watching